Hello friends, it's Yuris here and this is Tattoo Shop Talk, a channel where we share our thoughts and experiences about this beautiful craft of tattooing to help you improve and most importantly mess up less stuff. And if that's your kind of thing then consider pressing this beautiful subscribe button that it's somewhere there or there or somewhere around screen. Today I would like to point out a few pretty common mistakes that I have seen way too often working in tattoo shops. So let's start with common hygiene errors by tattoo artists. So the first thing I would like to point out is not changing gloves. It's these beautiful things, they're pretty cheap and they should be changed every time you touch something that you shouldn't touch or you're just suspicious that you might have touched it. One example would be every now and then you see a tattoo artist who's so carried away and so into work and he will have those gloves on and He's been cleaning that tattoo and rubbing that bloody paper towel in that fresh tattoo for a while and then he needs some new inks and then with the same gloves tattooist would grab ink bottle, pour some ink in, put it back on a shelf and continue working. That's pretty nasty but that's only one example. Some people will have their gloves on like when they start to set up and they will take them off only when tattoo is done. Maybe in the middle if they need to go to toilet because they don't want to touch their little friend because that's too sacred then they remember that the gloves should be changed but some will work like until they all bubbled up from having Vaseline on and they would grab everything in between and the gloves would come off only when tattoo is done they would even take a picture with their phone while having those gloves on. So that would be first thing I would like to point out and that's pretty common still in this age of information but it still happens so think about it. And speaking of cross-contamination you can check this video and that would be a bit more about how stuff spreads. It's a little fun demonstration with UV powder so you can backtrack what, you, what you've been touching and what things you should cover more and what things you should think about more. Next thing I would like to point out is this little guy. That comes more from the cartridge needle world and all the people with those fancy slick machines have this one wrapped around and for some reason many of the two is think that this is some sort of barrier. If you open it up you can even see through that thing and the easiest way to check if that's a barrier or not that would be spraying a bit of water over it or any liquid and if it leaks through then obviously it's not a barrier. I don't know where that idea comes from because it's never sold as a barrier, it's sold as a grip tape. So it's a tape to make things grip better, tape to put on your grip to make it grip better. So yeah, that's a strange one but it's definitely not a barrier. If there's some plastics or something else that doesn't let liquids through, that's a different story but some people will use just this and they're like, no no no, my machine is clean, I have this thing on. Bullshit. Speaking of barriers, we also have a good example here when people would cover stuff with just paper. If it gets through the paper, it's also not a good barrier. Again, if there's some plasticky stuff underneath, that's a different story. And another barrier related story would be aprons, like one hanging th here aprons that are made from fabrics and usually those fabrics are not like water resistant or waterproof so it's just your regular fabric. Often you will see some tattoo shops have the shop name embroidered on it or some custom leather pieces with some logos and stuff in there and think about it how often the thing is washed or if it have ever been washed and sometimes you can see all the ink stains and like even all these different colors and the biggest problem is that also once they put it on, they kind of think that it's to protect the cool jeans or something from, from the ink and what happens on the other side doesn't matter. And then they go all around the shop, they go in the waiting area, back to the tattoo, it gets rubbed on the stations, on armrests and sometimes even customers. So think about it, how cool is that to be touched by ink that's sprayed from somebody else's tattoo. So yes, aprons like that one is cool, but maybe they're not entirely clean. And while we're on that cool note, let's talk about other cool stuff, like tattoos. They're pretty cool people and they often have all sorts of cool accessories like watches, bracelets, all the dangly stuff on chains, little Buddha statue, hairs sometimes that go like all the possible directions including the tattoo so have a look sometimes you see this big shiny watch and it's getting rubbed in this fresh tattoo or some crazy haircut where somebody looks over and it's dangling in a tattoo being cool is cool but sometimes less is more in the very beginnings of this channel we also made a bigger version of this video so you can check that out here 
and that was our first talk and we talked about stuff that we assume is dirty and that we don't want to see around us but it still happens so if you have time crack a cold one and check this video and now you if you have any thoughts or experiences leave them down below in the comment section is there any horror stories or some dirty stuff you've seen in your experience or you heard from a friend share that with the world and if you want to see more of this stuff subscribe to the channel there's also a little bell thing next to the subscribe button you can hit that one and then you'll get notified when new episodes come out and thanks for watching stay safe get clean tattoos bye